Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a house piano in Ableton with the stock plugin Grand Piano. You don't need any external plugins. It's super easy. Any beginner can do it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm going to use this house track remix I made of a fast car to show you the example. So let's just take a listen to the track, then I'll show you the piano and I'll show you exactly how I did it, okay? So let's listen to the piano itself. The first thing I want to tell you is that you obviously want to have some chords playing so that when you try to get the same sound, it actually sounds good, not just hitting like one note. So make sure you already have some basic chords at least, right? So my chords are this. Right, very simple. Now all you have to do is go to your search bar and type in Grand Piano. You want to make sure under categories you're selecting instruments and you'll see instrument rack. You drop down, you'll see Grand Piano. That's exactly what I did. I dragged and dropped that into an open MIDI track right here. You drag it in, and what you wanna do is pretty much max out everything, right? So I took the brightness knob, I put it all the way up to 127, same thing with the tone, same thing with the glue, the reverb, and same thing with the soft hard. Everything else stayed the same. So it literally maxed out everything. The reason is because with house music, the piano is usually very like hyped, a lot of treble, it just sounds like very processed. So that's what I was going for, right? Now, if I, if I go back to the default settings, let's just kind of like double click here. Imagine these were all default. Take a listen to the difference, right? This is before. Very soft. Watch as we raise the knobs. It's brighter. The glue is gonna add more compression. That's pretty much what it does. Reverb, make it sound more ambient. Soft hardness is the velocity. So harder velocity is gonna sound more intense as if you're playing it harder with your fingers. So now it pops out more in the mix. Next what I have is an EQ, which is cutting out 100, cutting out the lows. And we simply did a high shelf. This is called a high shelf when you boost everything from basically about 2000 kilohertz, 2K and onwards is boosted about 3.84 dB, right? If I turn this off, so this just adds a little bit more brightness to help it cut through the mix because otherwise it would get lost in all the other instruments. That's why we're doing that. That's why we're hyping it. Right, if I turn off this EQ and I bring back down these knobs, it's buried in the mix. Bring it back, pops out more. Next we have a multi-band compressor. This is C4, it's by Waves, you don't need to have it. But I like to have it in there. What I also did was here, I raised the high band, this section, and also this section. So these frequencies I boosted by 3K as well. You don't need to do this, it's kind of the same thing as doing the EQ. But I'm just showing you how I process the piano. But also, it's compressing some of the mids, as you can see, so that it just makes it a little thinner and less muddy. So a nice multi-band compressor can be really useful. Then we have it sidechained. If you don't know what sidechain is, that's okay. We have tutorials on that. Just search on our thing. They're actually the most popular videos. Just look up how to sidechain. So we added a regular stock compressor in Ableton. You can just type in compressor, just like that, under audio effects, drag that guy in, drop it in, turn on the sidechain button. You gotta open up this arrow to see it where it says compressor, click that yellow arrow, you'll see sidechain, turn that on, have your gain at default, pull down your threshold to around minus 24, hit auto release, just trust me, watch the sidechain video to get more explanation on this, but just do those settings, make sure your audio is coming from a kick if you have a kick drum, because that's gonna trigger the sidechain, so now your piano is being pumped to the kick, so listen to the, we're just gonna isolate the drums in the piano, I'll turn this off and on, this is without. Turn on the side chain. So now it's pumping a little bit with the track. In addition to that, I have another plugin. This is third party. It's called Kickstart. 
by Nicky Romero. It's basically sidechain as well. It's like an additional layer. I like it. But this doesn't do it to the kick, it just does it to a quarter note on the BPM, which is 117. If I turn this off, you probably may not hear a difference, but it's a subtle thing. Turn it back on. Now it's pumping, right? It's pumping even more. So you don't need it, but that's what I like to add. All you need is a grand piano, some EQ, and compressor. These are all stock plugins in Ableton, right? So that's how you process it. Now, in terms of the actual rhythm, right? Let's look at the rhythm of the house piano. That's very important. So once you have your chords established, right? Whatever your chord progression is, it's important to kind of have that syncopated rhythm, right? So take a listen to what I have here. So notice how it's not just like boom, boom, boom. It's not plain, it's choppy. They're like basically cut into like 16th notes or even less. Dun, dun, dun. So you gotta listen to some house tracks, listen to the piano, and listen to what kind of rhythm they're doing and try to emulate that. And you'll get an idea of what kind of rhythm you can do. You can play this on your keyboard or you can just draw it in your MIDI editor. But that's gonna really make it nice. So that's why it's important to kind of get that rhythm down. And that's essentially how you do a house piano in Ableton. Very, very easy. Anyone can do it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see. If you want to get coached, if you want to take some courses and get even deeper, we just click that link in the description. We offer that. If not, that's totally fine. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace. I got a plan.